You're listening to the Radio Whammo Breakfast, only on Kiwi. Well, this is a great project. Art for a Cure, it's called. It's for Breast Cancer Research Trust. Uh, it's launching this week where top New Zealand artists have chosen a song by top New Zealand musicians and created a piece of art inspired by the song that they actually chose. And it all kicks off this week in Auckland City and curating it is uh, Paul Baraguana. And he's joined us on the line today. Hello to you, Paul. Very nice to have you on. Great now, to be here. Now, um... The, 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 how did this? How did you get involved with this project? How did it come about? Well, they were looking for the Breast Cancer Research Trust. It was looking for someone to help out with organising the exhibition and commissioning the artists and um, and to making it happen. So um, they brought me on board. I I hadn't had any involvement with the trust before, um, but it, it's an incredible trust. And basically, what what it's charged itself with is finding a cure uh, for breast cancer within the next nine years. So I thought that was a great cause and wanted to be wanted to be a part of it. Golly gosh, imagine if that can come true, eh? That's yeah, huge. wouldn't it be great? Well, it's affecting so many people. I think most of us know someone affected by breast cancer. So um, it'll be it's a it's a worthy cause and a, a great vision. So um, yeah, so this is what this exhibition is all about. So would you say you're the man connected with the artists? Yeah. So so what I did basically is I I approached each of the artists who I thought would be um, really exciting to have on board and um, invited them to be part of the exhibition. And, and they then selected, well, there are a few parts of the exhibition, and, and, and the key part, is, as, as you just mentioned, is the, is the musical connection. So each of these artists have, have selected their favourite um, favorite musicians or favourite tracks and created works inspired by them. And I, I don't think it's been done in New Zealand before, so it, it's, it is an exciting show. And how did you go about selecting those artists? Was there a criteria that you ticked them off with? Um, well, it wasn't. I, I guess the key thing there is um, they're all at a certain point in their careers. They're, they're established artists, and some of them are very established artists. They all make um, exceptional work, and because we wanted to keep it a, a really high, high quality, low volume show, um, that I, I guess that kind of determined which artists I'd invite. Obviously, you can't invite all artists, but the artists that we have invited and that are on board are, are really exceptional. Yeah, well, one of them is Dick Frizzell, who's um, who's, who's uh, we hear a lot about actually at the moment. He um, he's uh, he's certainly doing very well, and he's paired up with Lawrence Arabia. Yeah, his um, he yeah, Dick Dick has been out and about a lot recently. He's, he's recently launched a, a very beautiful book, and he chose Lawrence Arabia and specifically the song called "Everyone's Had Dinner with Rabbit," <laughs> and it's a very unusual little song and a very beautiful little song. Yeah. And um, he's he's taken the idea of this this very quirky idea and made a very um, a very beautiful and moving painting. Um, it's a diptych, so there are two parts to it, and it's an oil on canvas, and it's basically um, a picture of two windows with two bunny rabbits sitting in each window. Yeah. So um, it sounds very quirky, and it's uh, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful work. It's very cool. Now, some of the other uh, other artists, um, uh, Popplewell, Popplewell. Yeah. So so Martin Popplewell's um, created a work called Study for Peking, and it's inspired by uh, a Nathan Haynes. Uh, work, uh, sorry, Nathan Haynes um, um, track, and um, do you know which one? Uh, it is called Oil on Concrete, mm-hmm. and it's going to be released shortly. Oh, okay. So, um, I was doing, yeah, a wee, a doing a wee search for it, but it's obviously very, very fresh. Yeah, it's very fresh. In fact, Martin's designing the cover of his um, of Nathan's new album. Oh, so, um, so look out for that. Yeah, um, Stitchbury. Yeah. So Peter is, uh, chose. Um, Beck Runger and he chose the the song When I See You Smile and e- each of the artists has, has interpreted the the, um, the brief and the challenge in different ways mm. and and Peter has has created a, a very beautiful uh, portrait of Beck um, again it, it's yeah it's a, it's a beautiful little work very moving little work um, and captures the the beauty and also the um, the little, there's a little sadness in some of it. Isn't music. there? Isn't there? And, and yeah. little, I'm just looking at um, at uh, the portrait now, and it's just a slight twinge of of melancholy. Yeah, a little twinge of me- melancholy, and a little bit of um, 
there's something of childhood injected in there too, mm. uh, and nostalgia, I think. Yeah, and oh, beautiful eyes. Goodness me. Yeah, nice very, so very well. beautiful. It's yeah. a stunning. It's a stunning work. It really yeah. is. Now, are are all the pieces paintings? Uh, no, we've got sculpture as well. Painting, sculpture, and photography. Um, for example, um, Fiona Partington has created a very, very beautiful photographic work, and that's inspired by the um, singer Ferry Marco Black. So, and and then there's a few sculptural pieces. Um, Virginia King has has created a work inspired by Neil Finn's uh, crowded uh, crowded house. Um, their song "Better Be Home Soon." Mm -hmm. So there's quite a, quite a range of work what in about different mediums. Paul Dibble. We're looking at one here from Paul Dibble. Yeah, Paul. Um, Paul comes into the part of the show, the limited edition part of the show, and those those pieces don't have a, uh, strictly a, a connection with the music, but they've all been selected and created, especially with the with the concept of the show in mind. And that work is is a little bronze piece, and it's of a figure stepping through. Well, it's it's stepping through. Uh, Stepping through to the other side, I guess. That's probably how you'd put it. Um, I guess you've got to see it. The yeah. show's going up today yeah. and tomorrow yeah. and opens on, on Thursday, and it's going to be free to the public and goes right across Labor Weekend through to the Friday the, the 30th. So um, so it'll actually it runs through to the 1st of November, so okay. there's, there is time to see it. Do, do tell us, um, just very quickly, I haven't seen it, but, um, but I'm interested in this one. Andrew McLeod and Liz Moore working with the jo uh, John Clark, a.k.a. Fred Dagg. Yeah, well, it's actually just Andrew um, working on that oh, piece. Okay. And, right. and Andrew chose uh, John Clark, Fred Dagg's uh, We Don't Know How Lucky We Are, uh, which we all know and love. Mm. Um, and he's kind of taken a different take on it because his view of a, of a contemporary um, urban New Zealand is quite different from John Clark's um, from John Clark's song. But um, but John really loves the work and um, sees lots of parallels with his own with his own musical um, um, practice. All right. Well, as you say, um, it is all all for a good cause. And at the end of um, at the end of the showing of the exhibition, uh, there will be an auction as well. Yep, there'll be an auction of, of the works inspired by the music um, and also the, throughout the exhibition the limited editions are available to buy um, because there are a, a, a several of each of them it means that more than one person can own them. Cool. There's also another part to the project which are these amazing umbrellas designed by Andre Hamer and um, they form, form uh, another, another aspect to it and um, there's an image of it in the, in the New Zealand Herald on page 6 today so right. um, and otherwise, people can check out the website, which is um, breastcancercure.org.nz, and that's got all the details on there. Well, it certainly is great to see these um, artists collaborating with musicians or being inspired by musicians as well. Um, yeah, it's re it is exciting. And mm. I, as I say, I don't think it's been done before. And um, it's been really an, a really interesting process for all of the artists and for everyone involved. So it's, it's, it really is an exciting exhibition. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Paul. Hey, that's a pleasure. That is um, Paul Baraguanath, who is the curator for art.